because almost everyone in Westeros knew that the Red Wedding was a very dishonorable thing, a crime against the old gods and the new. Only the North had a reason to fight because of it, but even Lady Olena thought that it was something wrong. Do you remember what Tyrion said when he heard what happened, during the small council reunion? The North would never forget such treacherous thing, but they also knew that if they tried to do anything against the Bolton, they would be crushed under Tywin forces. But when Tywin died, House Lannister didn't have a powerful, or at least, a clear successor to Tywin, so when he died, a big portion of the Lannister power went with him. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Cersei is much dumber in the books, so what she did was much more harmful to their power than in the show. When Tywin died, there was no power to support the Bolton if they suffered a revolt. Keep in mind that the revolt part is much more better explained in the books. There is virtually nothing to use as an example in the show. In short, House Lannister by Tywin's day was a house with no foundation, only the exceptionally capable character of Tywin allowed it to punch above its weight. Tywin had no successors of similar ability, Jaime doesn't want it and doesn't seem that capable anyhow, as he has failed so far in everything he tried. Tyrion might be capable but is unacceptable because of his physical shortcomings and because he murdered his father, while Cersei is Cersei. Speaking of which, second reason for the Lannister downfall is Cersei. Aside from being an evil and vindictive person, which in Westeros is not much of a handicap in of itself, she is also a stupid person. And the worst kind of stupid person, a stupid person with delusions of being smart, and in a position to act out on those delusions. While he was alive, Tywin kept her in check. But soon as he was gone, it didn't take her long to make catastrophically stupid and short-sighted decision after catastrophically stupid and short-sighted decision. The most prominent one so far in both books and series is her revival of the Faith Militant, which backfired on her spectacularly. I suspect we'll find out in future books and episodes that an even bigger Cersei screw-up, with ramifications for House Lannister that will make the Faith Militant thing look minor, is her brushing aside the Iron Bank's request for payment. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.